What's up, Barbie family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have some Dollar Tree gift basket ideas as well as gift ideas. I do these videos every single year and I try to make it so that it's unique. Um, because I know you can go to a store and you can pick items out and just place them inside of a basket and call it a day. So I try my best to make them a little bit more unique and give you ideas to give kind of like a funny type of gift or something where people will go, oh, that's really cool. Remember this with these ideas, you do not have to use Dollar Tree products if you do not want to. You can use products from other stores. This could give you just some inspiration to how you can do a basket with items from other stores or just kind of like a direction you might want to go in. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not and click the bell button so you'll be notified every single time that I upload. I do lots of Dollar Tree based DIY videos, um, Dollar Tree idea videos. It's lots of Dollar Tree stuff. Anyways, with that being said, let's begin the video. For our first gift idea and my favorite gift idea, from Dollar Tree I picked up this green bin. I used my Cricut to cut out this open in case of emergency vinyl and I'm going to be applying that to the front of my bin. If you do not have a Cricut, Dollar Tree carries rub on transfer stickers that you can use as well as poster board stickers. I'll link down a tutorial where I use the rub on transfers and it works like a Cricut. It's pretty much the same thing, it's just the letters are a little bit smaller. So this gift idea is kind of like a 2020 gift idea. It's 2020 in a box. It's useful and it just kind of sums up what this year is. Before I placed anything inside of the bin, I went ahead and I used this decorative shred from Dollar Tree and I used it to dummy up the bottom of the bin. If you don't do that, then the items don't really lie that nice and if you end up using cellophane over it it just kind of looks it doesn't look funny but it just doesn't necessarily look like the gift baskets you buy inside of a store so it's not necessary but with it it gives it that store-bought look so I'm gonna add a Sudoku puzzle to this just because I feel like a lot of people are doing crossword Sudoku things I'm gonna add a puzzle I did so many puzzles in the beginning when all of this started happening I did like four 1000 uh, piece Disney puzzles then I'm gonna add the main event of of this year where nobody could find this toilet paper. I got all of this from Dollar Tree, remember? I added this antibacterial dish soap. I feel like any cleaner that had antibacterial in it, people have bought, and I'm one of them. If it has it in there, I get it. I got some Lysol from Dollar Tree, which I was surprised about, and then some hand sanitizers. I got three different ones, and I went ahead and threw those inside of the basket. Finally, I found these two magnets that go really well with everything this year. One says, wash your hands, and the other one says, remember to sanitize. So I put those inside of my basket. Now Dollar Tree carries clear gift wrap. It's the cellophane, you could put it over your basket, tie it up, but I wasn't gonna do that for the tutorial because if I did that, you wouldn't be able to see everything clearly when I filmed the close-ups of this. But that's what you would do, just wrap it up and you have this really great 2020 summed up into a basket idea. I know this might not be for everybody, but for me, I think it's a good idea. I would have loved something like this, especially with the Lysol, because Lysol has been so hard to find. Our next gift basket idea involves a little bit of DIYing from Dollar Tree. I picked up six of these crates. Now I recently did a hot chocolate bar using crates and if you want to see I'll link it down below. I love that hot chocolate bar. We're kind of going with the same concept here. You want to paint the crates whatever color that you like. I'm going to be using red just because it's Christmas time but if you're giving this to somebody where you kind of know the decor and the vibe that they have in their house you could paint it that color. So if somebody who has like farmhouse type of vibe you can use a wood stain if it's somebody who has modern decor that boho decor you can use maybe black paint it's completely up to you while I was painting this thing Cooper started laughing so Cooper kind of like laughs a little bit you know he's still young but he's starting to get to more of a belly laugh so I was painting and Matt was counting to Cooper and he was laughing during this it was so cute Three. <laughs> He nicked himself recently. We put middens on him, but they fall off all the time and he's getting better though with the startle reflex. Anyways, so what you do is you just kind of glue your crates together. I wanted to do two rows and have the back row higher. So I glued two crates on top of each other and I did that two times. That's the back row and then I have the front row. So what I'm doing is I'm filling this up for a coffee lover. So I added first off some K-cups 
but it's the hot chocolate cake cups. I had gotten this at my local um, grocery store because Dollar Tree does carry the Edmonds one, but it was three in a pack for a dollar, and this one just made more sense. I got more bang for my buck. And then I added some coffee. I'm actually really gifting this, so I added some of the person I'm giving it to their favorite coffee so I went ahead and put that inside of there then I added some of these hot and cold cups aka coffee cups I don't know why I just call them hot and cold cups Dollar Tree does carry ones that are more permanent it's not the disposable kind so you can go ahead and add those if you want to and then to the last little crate that I had I added more of the Swiss Miss um, cake cups as well as the peppermint sticks that Dollar Tree carries. They're little peppermint spoons and you can use them to stir things. I topped this off with a little bow from Dollar Tree and then that was it for this gift basket idea or just gift idea in general. Like I said, you could use the cellophane to wrap this all up, but if I did that, you can't really see it on video, so I didn't do that. Our next DIY is something I've seen on the Dollar Tree website. Recently I was on there looking at their little gift ideas and I've seen people doing on YouTube including Chic on the Cheap. So from Dollar Tree you want to pick up some of their socks. I chose these ones and then you want to get like some cupcake holders. I'm going to be using these candy cups that I actually got from Hobby Lobby. They were $1.50 with the half off. And I'm using these instead because the little cupcake holders from Dollar Tree, I feel like the socks just open up in them. So what you do is you roll your socks up, you place them in the little cupcake holder, and then you have these socks that are rolled up that look like a cupcake. It's really, really cute. And I know people do different ideas with this. She kind of cheap did a, um, like a Sunday. If you want to check her out, I'll link her down below for you guys. I have to remember to link everything I'm saying down below because I forget a lot. I put my videos to upload and then I have to go straight to Cooper usually because Matt will take care of him while I'm doing this. And then I have to go take care of Cooper so Matt can work. So I just forget a lot of times. Anyways, moving right along, I took some pom-poms. You can get ones that are are red, green, and white from Dollar Tree. I'm just using red ones and I'm putting it on top of the socks. I kind of shove it in between the little, there's like a little hole when you roll the sock. So I went ahead and shoved it in there and I topped it off to make it look like a cupcake. Then I got this cupcake cooking um, pan from Dollar Tree and I just placed them inside of the pan. So I did six of these. Now, if you're going to put it in the cellophane or even in a little basket, the little cupcake holder might fall out. So what I recommend doing is getting double-sided foam tape. Dollar Tree does carry this and you just cut some pieces, put it on the bottom of the cupcake um, little holder and place it inside of the tray that way. So that way it stays in place and it isn't falling all over the place. I love this idea so much. Now, the way Dollar Tree had it on their website, they had like a little disposable cake holder. Um, it's just like a goods box. And I couldn't find that, so I just put it inside of this little one that I had from Target. And that's just another idea. For our next gift idea, you want to pick up some glass, mug, whatever it might be from Dollar Tree. Now, I'm customizing mine because I'm actually giving this away. Hopefully, the people I'm giving it away to don't see this, but they don't really watch my tutorials. It's my sister and her husband, so don't tell them. Anyways, so with my Cricut, I ended up cutting out something that has their names, and I'm placing it on top of my glass. Dollar Tree carries so many different glasses you can use. I wish I would have used a different color vinyl for this. I used this one that just ended up matching the glasses to the T. Also, I recommend getting a glass that kind of goes with the person you're giving it to. So if they're a coffee drinker, get them a mug. If they like wine, you get them a wine glass. Um, if they like beer, they also have like beer glasses at Dollar Tree. They even have like Coca-Cola ones if you know somebody who just likes to drink soda. Uh, there's different ones you can use and you can get something that suits the person you're giving it to. Okay, I got my vinyls on and now I'm just going to be adding some of that decorative shred. I'm using some white one and placing them in both of the glasses. Then Dollar Tree doesn't carry any type of alcohol so they don't really have wine but they have like those um, sparkling kind of juices so I got the sparkling cider and the apple grape from the brand Martinelli's I know this brand carries like apple juice I've never tried it but people rave about their apple juice I did not see that inside of Dollar Tree and then I'm just adding this Ghirardelli peppermint bark there's so many different things you can add inside of these glasses or any glass that you got from Dollar Tree. Uh, again, you can do it so that it suits 
um, the person that you're giving it to. Since I had two glasses, I decided to show you guys me using the cellophane wrap to wrap something up. So all you have to do is you gotta cut it down um, to fit, whether it be a basket or a glass like I'm using. Then you wanna take some twine, rope, decorative ribbon, whatever you want, and use it to tie the top of the cellophane so it stays around whatever it is you're wrapping it around. You can add a bow at the top, you can add like the string ribbon if you want to, that is completely up to you. Dollar Tree does carry the cellophane wrap in different colors if you want a different color one, but I like the clear one because you can obviously see through it much clearer. I love the way these turned out, I wish I did however use a vinyl that was not so close to the glass color. If you want, you can always use the rub-on transfers for your glasses as well. If you do not have a Cricut, you do not need one. For our next gift basket, I got a red bin. I'm dumbing up the bottom with that decorative shred and we're gonna do a hot cocoa themed one. So I got some Swiss Miss hot cocoa packets from Dollar Tree, some marshmallows. I had to use ones I got from Walmart because the Dollar Tree I went to didn't have any marshmallows. Dollar Tree normally has marshmallows, I just couldn't find them at the one that I went to. Then I'm gonna add these chocolate stirring spoons. They're really cool, they melt inside of your hot chocolate. This basket I kept having to work with to get the perfect placement for myself. I'm just crazy like that. And then I'm gonna add this little hot chocolate mug that I made. It's like a little marshmallow hot chocolate mug. I have a tutorial for this. I'll link it down below for you guys. I used Dollar Tree mug to do this and I just felt like it went perfectly with this basket. I placed some of those peppermint stirring spoons inside of my mug and then I topped this off with a Dollar Tree bow. I ended up adding some of the Dollar Tree decorative ribbon later on, but that is it for the hot cocoa basket. And with the mug, I feel like it adds an extra touch. You don't have to do a mug that looks like this. You can just add any mug from Dollar Tree. They do carry lots of nice ones, especially ones for Christmas time right now. For our next DIY, I picked up this white basket from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be adding white decorative shred to this. Now I'm going to do just like a beauty one. It's good for anybody in your life that's into beauty, especially teens. So I got this LED makeup mirror from Dollar Tree and facial massager. They are new to Dollar Tree this year. They have them in different colors. Then I'm going to add some of this Bolero body wash. Now this is good ideas whether you're trying to use Dollar Tree products or other products. You know, if you want to add Bath and Body Works items to this or like, I don't know, Yankee Candle to this, you can. It just gives you an idea of how you can pair it with other items. I also added these hand creams from Dollar Tree and then Dollar Tree right now has these little cups that are filled with a loofah, a nail clipper, a nail filer. I think they're really cute. It's just a dollar. Then they have little pieces that go along with that. So I got a beauty blender that's that purple color. There's another little nail thing that you can get. They got these in pink, blue, and purple. Those are the three colors I had seen them in. So I went ahead and added that to the basket. Then I topped it off with another bow. Um, I ended up getting a different bow later on. It was this really pretty pink one. It was two for a dollar versus the ones you keep seeing me use, which was, I think, there's about 20 of them for a dollar. That's it for this gift basket idea. Like I said, you can use other products from different stores, but you can use this as inspiration to create your own gift basket and look for items that you could pair that are similar to create a gift basket. Our next gift basket is going to be a Toy Story theme, so it's good for any little kid in your life that might like Toy Story. They also have Funny Nemo there. They have um, Monsters, Inc., My Little Pony, and they have all these items with those characters instead. So I got a coloring book, a book, I got this little Play-Doh mold, little figurines, I got the Rex, Forky, Woody, Buzz, Bo Peep, and I'm adding them all to the basket. But like I said, they have Finding Nemo coloring books and books, My Little Pony coloring books and books, and the little figurines as well, Monsters, Inc. They have all of that at Dollar Tree. So it doesn't have to just be Toy Story, but you guys know me, I love Toy Story, and I know a bunch of little kids in my life that love Toy Story. I don't know about Cooper yet. His room is that Toy Story themed room, but that doesn't mean he likes it per se just yet. Anyhow, I filled my basket up with all of these items, and what you can do as well is you can get the DVD. Now, obviously you're not gonna find the Toy Story DVD at Dollar Tree, but you can buy it, especially right now for an inexpensive price at like Walmart, Target, and you can add the DVD to your basket, and I think it really brings the basket up a notch. You don't have to do this, 
you know, especially if it's not within your budget, but this is a great idea and that's what I mean. Like you can take these ideas and add other items from other stores. I love the way this one came out, but you know I'm gonna love it just because it is Toy Story. The next gift basket idea is something that I personally would really like and it's something for people who like decorative pieces, farmhouse type of decor. So from Dollar Tree, I'm gonna be using this wired basket. They carry them in black and in white in different sizes. I got this smaller one. Now Dollar Tree carries so many different decor pieces, but I found recently this laundry bl and bless sign and they have that farmhouse look to them. And then I got a soap dispenser from Dollar Tree and a toothbrush holder. So I'm just gonna be adding that to my basket. And like I said, this is a good basket for somebody who likes decor, they like the farmhouse look. Dollar Tree does carry other items that doesn't have to be that whole farmhouse look. You can add like a picture frame, it goes well with this, and you can put a picture of you and whoever it is you're giving it to in the picture frame. That's completely up to you. But this one's really inexpensive to do and it's really nice items. You're gonna find that laundry and blessed sign in the front of Dollar Tree near their last minute gift ideas, not near the regular home decor aisle. Now I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some previous unique gift ideas and gift baskets using Dollar Tree products that I've done on my channel before, but I really, really like them. This gift idea I've done on my channel multiple times because it's easy to do, inexpensive, and it's perfect for anybody. So from Dollar Tree, you wanna pick up an oven mitt and then just pick up a bunch of different baking utensils. Dollar Tree carries Betty Crocker brand, so I recommend just filling up the oven mitt with as many as you like. So I added a spatula, a spoon, measuring cups, measuring spoons. They have them in black and in red. I then go ahead and grab some ribbon from Dollar Tree and I wrap it around my oven mitt, creating just a little bow. I'm not the best at making bows, you guys. I'm actually pretty bad at them. I ended up adding some Betty Crocker chocolate mix inside of my mitten, and this is just a really good gift idea for anybody. So from Dollar Tree, you're gonna pick up one of these little dishes. They have a bigger one if you want that, and then you're gonna get some table tennis balls. Now you're gonna take a scissor and cut those balls in half. It's not hard to do, you just poke a hole into it and then you cut it in half. Once you have the balls cut in half, you're gonna glue them to the bottom of your dish. You're gonna want four halves total. I'm gonna be using a hot glue gun to do this. You can use whatever glue you like. Once the glue dries, flip it over and you can fill it up with whatever you like. Dollar Tree carries so many items that are perfect for a bath and just a calm, relaxing day. So I picked up these blue washcloths because I thought they would look really cute just kind of drooping out of the dish to make it look a little bit more like a bathtub. And they carry so many different items, like I said, that are great for baths, especially from the Bolero brand. And what I like about the Bolero brand for a gift is you can't tell that it's from Dollar Tree unless the person shops at Dollar Tree often enough to know that. But it's a brand that you can find online, you can find it on Amazon. It's something a little bit different than just the Dollar Tree brand. And that's it for the bath gift basket. Moving on to the movie popcorn gift basket. Dollar Tree carries these popcorn containers from Dollar Tree. They got bigger ones and smaller ones. I chose the bigger one. Now you want to put something at the bottom to kind of just fluff it up. I'm actually just using a tree skirt. You can use gift bag wrap or the cellophane wrap to fill the bottom, but I wanted to use a tree skirt because that's going to add a lot of height to the gifts. Now Dollar Tree carries so many different DVDs. I found Fever Pitch. I think that's a pretty good movie, so I went ahead and put that into my basket and of course you cannot forget snacks like popcorn I wanted to add something else that's salty so I went ahead and picked up a pack of these pretzel crisp Dollar Tree carries so many different candies you can add to this I went ahead and add some Skittles and then when I think of movie theater candy I think of snow caps if we ever did get movie candy growing up it was always snow caps so I went ahead and I added that and for seven bucks you got a great little basket for a movie night now moving on to this mirrored box. I think this mirrored box idea is really great if you're giving somebody makeup because you can use this to display your brushes and it looks so fancy. So this is something I've already done on my channel. Basically you get four of the square candle holders from Dollar Tree, so they're candle holder mirrors, and you just glue them together. You're gonna glue five of them together. 
And then you can fill this box up with whatever you like. Dollar Tree carries makeup organizers and I think that the lipstick organizers any makeup lover would appreciate. So I went ahead and I put one of those inside of the box but I made it so it was partly sticking up and going in an angle so that everything else that I put inside of the box was sticking out. So it's just to make it display really nicely. Dollar Tree carries so many different makeup products and brands my favorite brand that they carry is elf and right now they have the black elf products so the white elf products it's more their lower end and then the black products are a higher end i filled this up with two brushes brow liner lipstick lashes and mascara i then go ahead and use the silver diamond wrap from dollar tree to wrap it around the box and then i add a bow just to make it look a little bit more christmasy I think any makeup lover would really appreciate the box because like I said, you put your brushes inside of it and it looks so nice. Moving on to these mistletoes gift, which is something I saw online. So what you're going to do is you're going to get a pair of socks from Dollar Tree and then you're going to roll them up. Now you don't want to roll them up too too tight that you won't be able to place anything inside. You want it to be wide enough where the items you get will be able to like slide through it. Then you're going to wrap some ribbon around the socks. Dollar Tree carries so many different types of ribbon you can use. I got this green glitter one that I'm wrapping around this pair. Now I didn't tie this, I went ahead and just placed some glue over it to keep it in place. Now fill up the sack with whatever you like. Dollar Tree carries this little set that has small little nail items in it. So there's a nail clipper, a small little scissor, things to clean your cuticle, I think is really awesome. And then you can get some nail polish from Dollar Tree. They got so many different brands. My favorite brand, if you can find a color you like, is Kiss. If you can't find Kiss, I really like Wet n Wild or Sinful Colors. For the mistletoes sign, I went ahead and I printed that off online on regular printing paper and then I cut it up. Now you can write the saying down on a Christmas label. I just didn't have any label on hand and I didn't really want to just use white paper to do this. I just decided to print it out. I will link what I used down below. I didn't mess with the sizing at all. I just printed it out how it was and then I just glued that to the ribbon. Now I made another sock which was a little bit different with the items that I put in. I put a nail filer, some nail polish, and a nail clipper. And with this one, I didn't glue on the sign just because the ribbon is too thin. I went ahead and I just slid it through two objects to keep it in place. I think this is such a cute idea and it's perfect for lots of loved ones in your life if you just want to buy them something really simple or something you could even use for a stocking stuffer. Now moving on to a basket that is perfect for children. Dollar Tree carries little shopping baskets and they come in two in a pack and in different colors. I got a pink one. They also carry a bunch of different toy food. Growing up, toy food was my favorite type of toy. I would get that every single year and to this day I still have pieces. I even got this chef hat. They also have an apron if you want. I just didn't get that myself. So I placed them all inside of the basket. Now I wanted to make this look a little bit more Christmassy. So I got these little elf legs that I placed inside of the basket to make it look like the elf is inside of there trying to grab some food. And I went ahead and placed some candy canes in there so you can give it to your kid and be like, hey, look, the elf is trying to get the candy canes. You know, just, I don't, I don't really know. And then I just added a bow to this as well make it look a little bit more festive. Finally, this inexpensive car basket, which is great for the men and women in your life that love their cars or just really honestly own a car. So Dollar Tree carries these toolboxes that are great for the basket. Then fill this up with some car items or even tools. Dollar Tree carries both. I really do like the multi-purpose wipes and glass wipes from Dollar Tree. They carry the brand Armor All, which is a name brand, and it's a tire gauge. And a tire gauge is not something you think of until that time where you're kind of screwed and you're like, oh, I really do need one of these. So you can fill this up with so many more items if you like, but this one was so inexpensive to do, you don't even have to add the bow and it would be like a $5 item, actually six bucks. Now this one's super easy. If you want to give somebody like beauty blenders, for Christmas, which I know that's like a popular gift to give to somebody who loves makeup, you can get this little gumball machine from Dollar Tree and then some beauty blenders. Now Dollar Tree does carry beauty blenders. They don't have the small ones always in, so I ended up getting some smaller ones from Walmart. And then you just fill 
the little gumball machine with the beauty blenders and it's not hard to get these blend beauty blenders out of there because the bottom of the hole on the gumball machine is bigger than the top so it'll be able to come out obviously you can't twist the gumball machine knob and expect the beauty blender pieces to drop out so maybe you want to relay that to whoever you're giving this to but i'm sure they'll be able to tell that you can't really do that but i just think this is a really cute way to give beauty blenders which I mean, I love getting beauty blenders for freaking Christmas. Those things work so good with foundation and concealer. I don't know. I just think it's so freaking cute. And you can add a bow to the top and call it a day. Now, moving on to something that is more geared toward men in your life. But, you know, it could be for women, too. It just depends on who exactly it is for. So Dollar Tree does carry football glasses. And what you can do is you can fill them up with items that are like good to snack on while watching football so what i got was some peanuts and then some beef jerky both of them are from dollar tree so i filled it up with that and then i was able to find some keychains that work well for somebody who i guess would be into this type of stuff so i found a little mini screwdriver keychain a bottle opener flashlight keychain which i think is perfect for something like this and then a multi-use knife so I filled the glass up with these products because I like things to look a certain way when I display them inside of baskets. I did end up having to take out some of those items and place them directly inside of the glass and then cut off some excess packaging on some of the other items so the little like Johnsonville sign would still show. So I topped it off with a bow and this is just easy, these last two gift. items I have to share with you guys are more so geared toward children. So from Dollar Tree, you can get some Crayola Play-Doh. It doesn't have to be Play-Doh. I just think the Play-Doh looks really cute inside of these bags. And you want to get a yellow bag from Dollar Tree. And you fill it up with whatever it is that you got. So I'm using the Play-Doh. Dollar Tree does carry a bunch of other Crayola items you can stick inside of this. Then you want to go to Google Images, type in Crayola Crayons 24 pack, and print out an image of the crayons. You might have to resize it on your computer. What you do is you just cut the image out add some glue to the back of it i just used a glue stick and then glue that to your bag and you got this really cute bag that kind of looks like a jumble pack of crayola crayons i think it's so cute like i said dollar tree does carry a bunch of other crayola products like coloring books the markers the crayons um color pencils you can put whatever you want inside of the bag. Anyways, that's it for these Dollar Tree gift basket ideas and just gift ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.